Next is evaluating the publication. And this is, this can actually be quite interesting. Uh, the question here is, how do you know how, what kind of quality uh, a publication may have? Is, and is it a peer-reviewed publication? Um, so there are some ways you can, you can discover that. I'll go into that here in just a minute. But as, you know, another thing you need to know is, how do these, how does this publication choose what to publish? All publications have to make choices. So how does this particular publication choose? It's often, uh, they will often state how they make their choices uh, because that's part of their justifying their existence and justifying their credentials to the public. But if they don't, then all journals and magazines have uh, uh, submission guidelines. And if you go and read the submission guidelines, that can give you a lot more information. Then there's a resource called uh, Ulrich's Web, which is an online database that has information on over 300,000 periodicals. And let's go ahead and go to that real quick. I'll show you that now. Hold up. Okay. Ulrich's Web. Okay, this is Ulrich's Web. I've given the URL in the uh, PowerPoint. And here is the search box. We can search by keyword subject, the title, or a keyword that's in the title, uh, or this ISSN number, which is the equivalent of an ISBN number just for uh, periodical type publications. So let's look at what kind of information you can get. I'm going to plug in a journal called Molecular Cancer Research and show you, here it is right here, came up in the database. And here's the information that this website has on that publication. It has their who publishes it, uh, what country, what year it was begun, uh, the type of document that it is. Referee, this is what, what Ulrich calls uh, uh, their peer review. Okay, if they say it's refereed, that means it's peer reviewed. Okay, does it have an abstract? What kind of a media is it? Uh, their their um, uh, market here. Okay, there's a lot of information. You can get a lot of information on any uh, well on any of the 300,000 journals that this uh, database holds uh, by going to this website and plugging it in. Tells you whether it's available online. Okay, who the publisher is. Okay, this is all valuable information for uh, vetting uh, a resource, especially one that's in some kind, been published in some kind of a publication. So let's look at Time, Time Magazine here. All right, Time Inc. And we should come up with some information on this, and your database catches up with us. Okay, here we go. This is the information on Time Inc. This is not a peer-reviewed journal. They don't have refereed as uh, one of the uh, criteria here. And let's see here, 56 times a year, because Time is published um, weekly plus. And it's a general interest periodical from the United States. Has a lot of information here. They've got an online URL for the magazine. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's go ahead and, and move on here because I don't want to take up too much more time with this. But this, if you need to find out if a, if a periodical is peer-reviewed and who publishes it, which are very valuable bits of data to know, then this is one way you can get that.